Hey guys, it's Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to another episode of How to Torture Your Wallet. I recently posted two new level design videos where I built two different environments and I received lots of comments asking for what assets I use in my project. So I decided to make this video where we're going to take a look at some of my favorite assets for realistic graphics in Unity. By the way, smash like on this video if you guys have been enjoying these asset store videos because I've been enjoying them personally very much. Making them is a lot of fun and I just want to make sure you guys are enjoying them at least as much as I do creating them. So we're going to get started with the assets in less than just a minute. But first, this video is brought to you by Displayland. Displayland is an app that generates 3D captures of physical spaces using the everyday smartphone camera, empowering anyone to create shared digital spaces for self-expression and creativity. These captures can be exported as 3D models with the file format OBJ as well, which means that they can be used in Unity. You can use the crop feature to clean up your capture and remove any excess if you record something you did not intend to. You can drag and drop 3D objects, add notes, view your capture from any angle, and directly share it to social media. I think it's a really cool app, especially since photo scans and the technique of photogrammetry keeps getting more popular, so make sure to go to the link in the description box of this video to learn more about Displayland. Alright, so with that being said, let's talk assets. The first pack I want to show you is the Forest Environment Dynamic Nature by Nature Manufacture. This is, just like the title suggests obviously, a forest environment that has won as best artistic content on Asset Store during Unity Awards 2019. That's obviously a very big title to hold, and the models in this pack look incredible, and this pack supports all the way up to Unity 2019.3 with HDRP and URP, or the Universal Render Pipeline, which was so far known as the Lightweight Render Pipeline. Especially the part about it being HDRP compatible has had me totally sold on this pack, since I do use HDRP in most of my level designs, and if you want to get really that complex console and PC, high fidelity visuals and realistic graphics, I think you're going to want to strive to go with HDRP as well. This is essentially a huge library of 100% scanned assets, carefully optimized at last and use level of detail or LOD for short. You get a group of shaders which will bring better quality and simplify your workflow and all of these shaders are shared between all of the other assets Nature Manufacturer makes. The forest environment along with all the other assets in this video are going to be linked in the description box of this video, so make sure to check out the description box after watching this video. Next up, let's take a look at Fantasy Adventure Environment by Staggart Creations. This is an environment asset pack inspired by the current 3D adventure games and of old. It actually reminds me about Zelda on the Switch and I've been saying this to literally everybody I've been speaking about this asset with. Do you guys see that connection? Either way, this pack focuses on providing artistically crafted environment assets. It supports up to Unity 2019.3 with the Universal Render Pipeline or URP for short. The stylized vegetation dots the landscape as your player traverses the world in search of an adventure. All these assets are designed for mid-high range PC and console platforms, including PS4 and Xbox One. Mobile and web platforms are not yet supported, though with URP it might be worth looking into it. There are custom shaders for trees and vegetation to enable stylized rendering and animations beautiful wind animations on trees and vegetation to add more liveliness to the world. There's also interactive foliage that bends away from the player and grass color blends with the terrain. You get 18 types of plants, more than 20 types of trees, matching skybox panorama with up to 8K resolution, animated localized sun shaft effects, particles, post-processing stack profiles, and more. Moving on to number three, we have Aura 2 by Rafael Ernalston. Aura is a volumetric lighting and fog solution for Unity. It simulates the illumination of the microparticles that are present in the environment but too small to be visible to the eye and the camera. Aura 2 brings state-of-the-art volumetric lighting system to Unity. This rendering technique is the same as the one used in the latest high-end games such as Tomb Raider, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey, Days Gone and more. This asset supports all types of light, includes control volumes, color temperature support, has ambience presets for one-click kickstarts, supports multiple cameras, light probes, and VR, real-time preview in editor, and many more features 
that you can also see on the asset store page as for all the other assets in this video. Next up, we have the City Adventure Pack by Befio. This is an intuitive build-it-yourself asset containing all elements necessary to create top quality modular town related games. All that packed into one easy to use package that comes with example scenes, plugins and prefabs. This is perfect for mobile, AR, VR and desktop. You get over 160 unique objects, 12 custom maps, more than 20 example scenes, color suit plugin, diverse environments and building types like airport, railway station, housing areas, factories, downtown area, warehouses, banks, cafes, and much, much more. There's also a simple car traffic simulation plugin and a quick tutorial for the entire pack. Moving on to number five, we're looking at Mad Goat SSAA and Resolution Scale by Mad Goat Studio. This asset brings one of the best anti-aliasing techniques to your Unity project, be it a game, a VR application, or an ArcVis presentation. And honestly, this is really just one of my essential packs that I use in every level design I make. Super sampling anti-aliasing is essentially used to smoothen out the edges of game objects where it can get a little pixelated and sizzly. This pack supports HDRP and the Lightweight Render Pipeline in Unity 2019 has FSSAA, <laughs> Jesus, this is so hard to say. Oh wait, hold on, there's more to come. FSAAA and TSSAA techniques that are super sampling solutions used by AAA Studios. Thank you Premiere for having the features that text on top of the screen because I would never be able to say this myself. God damn it, game dev, why do we have so many shortenings? Moving on to number six, another pack I use very often is the Meadow Environment Dynamic Nature, once again by Nature Manufacturing. This is, just as the name suggests, a meadow environment. You get a whole bunch of high quality nature prefabs, all the way from trees, grass, and rocks to fences, logs, tree stumps, and pebbles. Similar to the forest environment pack we talked about earlier, this pack supports HDRP and Universal Render Pipeline, or URP, with Unity 2019.3. This is also a huge library of 100% scanned assets, just like the Forest Environment Pack. To be more detailed, you get 21 cliff models, 20 rock models, 6 low poly background mountains, 8 bushes, and just so, so much more. Now at last, I want to get to the new segment that I will be trying to implement into these videos, which is keeping an eye out for awesome stuff with Saiku. I'm working on the name. Basically, in this segment, I want to mention cool packs that are coming out soon. For this video, I wanted to mention the Polygon Fantasy Kingdom Pack from Sinti Studios. Sinti's Polygon series of asset packs is already very well known, but their new Fantasy Kingdom set looks awesome. From the screenshots we can see right now, it will include a fully modular castle with an extensive interior that you can explore on top of a detailed village. And the reason I wanted to mention this asset pack specifically in this video is simply because of the fact that I'm really like, this is one of those that I keep <laughs> refreshing the asset store page for to basically see every day if it's been released because I'm going to use this in so many of my speed level design videos because I really, personally, I really lacked an asset pack that was a low poly or a polygonal style, stylized type of asset pack for making fantasy kingdoms and villages and basically medieval worlds, right? And I mean, it looks awesome. So that's the reason I wanted to mention it in this video. Now, more importantly, if you guys have your own favorite suggestions or like favorite assets right now that have been released already and you're using them or some of the cool asset packs you wanna suggest me to check out, let me know in the comment section because not only are you letting me know, but you're also letting our community know. And as we all know, some of the best suggestions come from you guys, the community. So make sure to leave a comment. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. I basically shared all of my favorite asset packs recently that I've been using in my level designs and any other project that I work on really. Let me know once again in the comment section which ones you guys love the most and let us know in the comment section actually, I should start saying. Um, and also smash like on this video if you guys wanna see more of these asset review slash or AKA asset list videos like top assets. 
and also subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content in general if you're new here you can expect to see a bunch of tutorials on unity and game development in regards to how to make games and speaking of which you can also see a bunch of commentary type of videos where i just talk to you guys give you suggestions on becoming a better game developer or becoming a game developer in general and also some level designs asset reviews and a bunch of other cool stuff like making games and game jams etc also make sure to join our discord server where we have almost 20,000 members right now if i recall that right which is kind of crazy because i remember like talking to the admins that we have today and the moderators that when we started server basically i was saying like oh my god are we ever gonna reach like 1k members 1000 members and now here we are 20 times that and that's just you know insane and the fact like what really truly matters to me is the fact that there is an individual behind every single number that adds on top of the current number so you know there is a bunch of active game developers you can talk to get help from or help out yourself and also you can find a bunch of assets if you're interested in that kind of stuff we also run some giveaways and game jumps so it's a community it's just a community so just join us oh and i probably should say how you join you can go to the link in the description description or simply go over to discord.gg forward slash polyrealm all right so that is pretty much all i want to say so thank you guys so much for watching this video smash like if you want to see more hit subscribe and with that being said i'll see you guys in the comment section and in our next video so have a good night peace out bye bye guys